Good morning, everyone. And welcome to Holy Rosary Church, Mary Mother of God Parish, as we gather to celebrate the sacred mysteries of our faith. We begin this Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Let us call to mind our own faults, failings, and sins, and ask for the Lord's most gracious and abundant mercy. Jesus, you are the way. The Lord, have mercy. Jesus, you are the truth. Christ, have mercy. Jesus, you are the life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who manifests your almighty power above all pondering and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Vanity of vanities, says Koheleth, vanity of vanities, all things are vanity. What profit has man from all the labor which he toils at under the sun? One generation passes and another one comes, but the world forever stays. The sun rises and the sun goes down. Then it presses on to the place where it rises. Blowing now toward the south, then toward the north, the wind turns again and again, resuming its rounds. All rivers go to the sea, yet never does the sea become full. To the place where they go, the rivers keep on going. All speech is labored, there is nothing one can say. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor is the ear satisfied with hearing. What has been, that will be. What has been done, that will be done. Nothing is new under the sun. Even the thing of which we say, see, this is new, has already existed in the ages that preceded us. There is no remembrance of the men of old, nor of those to come will there be any remembrance among those who come after them. The word of the Lord. Today's responsorial psalm is, in every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn man back to dust saying, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning, they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening wilts and fades. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long have pity on your servants. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge.
says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Herod the Tetrarch heard all about what was happening and he was greatly perplexed because they were saying, John has been raised from the dead. Others were saying, Elijah has appeared, still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. But Herod said, John I beheaded. Who then is this about whom I hear such things? And he kept trying to see him. The Gospel of the Lord. They say curiosity killed the cat. Well, cats usually have nine lives, don't they? So, but speaking of cats, my friend uh, Garfield this morning in the paper has a little bit of uh, advice for us again. He says, don't judge me until you walk in my shoes. And then he holds up his paw and he says, I don't wear any, so don't judge me. <laughs> Curiosity, healthy curiosity and unhealthy curiosity. Healthy curiosity seeks to find the goodness, the truth, the wholesomeness in persons and things and events and so on. Unhealthy curiosity usually leads to some kind of damage or destruction. Herod had an unhealthy curiosity to see Jesus because he was perplexed that he had executed John the Baptist and was afraid that John had risen from the dead and would come back to haunt him. Herod's eventually wound up in a disastrous situation, the end of his kingdom kingship. But you and I are called to have a healthy curiosity, especially in Jesus. Herod wanted to see Jesus. He wanted to see the clown. He wanted to see uh, the fool. He wanted to see somebody that he could ridicule and, and just play down and, and just cast out of his sight. And he would feel good about himself. No. You and I have, should have a healthy curiosity to see Jesus every day in one another and in our religious practices as we hear his word, partake of his body and blood, and all the events that occur during our day. Jesus is with us. He walks with us day in and day out. Oftentimes we, we don't have that curiosity to know more and more about Jesus. We don't look up St. Luke or St. Mark or even St. John and say, oh, this passage, what does this tell me about Jesus? Uh, how can I get to know him a little bit better? Um, and so on. Uh, or a religious book. Or trying to listen to priests who just go on and on and on in their homilies. Uh, learn something more about Jesus, to be more curious about the Son of God made man, about the Word made flesh. Why is he here? What is he doing? What did he come to do? We all have pretty much the down pat responses for those, but we want to know more. We, we have curious minds, and we should know more, and we want to know more and more about Jesus. You know, it's not enough just to have a cursory glance at our religious beliefs. It's, it's important for us to want to know 
who Jesus is, who lives and reigns in our hearts and in our souls, walks with us through everyday life experiences, who brings us to the path of salvation and righteousness, one who forgives our sins and has paid the price for them by his own death on the wood of the cross. The son of the eternal father who has sent the Holy Spirit among you and me so that we can more and more uh, delve into who Jesus is and who he is for us, for you, for me. We want to see this Jesus. Herod wanted to see him, but for unhealthy reasons, unhealthy curiosity. We should have that healthy religious curiosity to know not only about Jesus, but to know him in person as well. May I invite you now to stand and together let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord, knowing that he hears and answers all of our prayers. Today's response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For a deeper devotion to the values that God exhibits on our behalf and in our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the desire to reach out to others, even those least like us, aware that in them we also discover God's presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Butch and Molly Holmes, for whom this Mass is being offered. May they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother, who also brings us to her Son, so that our curiosity will be fulfilled in knowing who Jesus is for each and every one of us. Hail Mary. Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself, share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humbled and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Let us stand and pray, curious to know Jesus as. We offer this sacrifice that it may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Set the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what we profess with devotion and faith may be ours through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
Truly right and just and duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all of your creatures serve you and the redeemed praise you, and all of your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too exalt in you with all of the angels, as in joyful celebration we all acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. We are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, handed it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you Come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, for taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Joseph our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her devoted husband, with all the blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs of eternal life. And we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share the peace of Christ with one another.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God. Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are we this morning, we are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, so that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of life, through Christ 
our Lord. The Lord be with you. And Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thank you all. Have a good day, everyone.